Hello everyone. Today's class is for the submission of commission in your command. Let's start off by entering a contact. The bare minimum of information you need to enter information in for a contact is a name and an email address. The more information you enter into a contact, the more you will be able to do other features in command. For the purpose of this class, just getting you from contact to close, we're just going to enter the very bare minimum of information. Name, email address, and hit create. Now we're going to go find our contact. As you can see, they dropped us into a timeline. The next tab over is opportunities, and we have to create an opportunity. The very bare minimum of information I need to fill out in opportunities is anything with the red asterisk. Is this a listing or is it a buyer? I'm gonna put them as a buyer today. And let's create the opportunity. I'm going to close this window out and go back into opportunities here. As you can see, it dropped us into details. If you can fill out any of this information here, it will auto populate to many different places on your documents and into your offers. We're going to click on offers now. And now our offers has opened up. I want to click on add a new offer. And create your offer. With the offer information here, our offer date, when are we closing, the property address. When it pops up at the bottom, choose from it there. And then we're going to go to parties, which is our next tab over. The more information you can fill in here, the better it will be. Again, the very bare minimum is anything you see in a red asterisk. If you scroll down, you see you are the representative. Who's representing Norma Jones? next tab over is terms. What's the earnest amount that they put in? 1%. If they did something different than 1%, $5,000. It will recalculate the percentage for you your option fee, how much did they contribute to the residential service contract, was there any settlement cost, if not, agent analysis. You don't have to fill out anything in agent analysis. Let's go to save it. 
and here's our offer. We want to accept it and watch your commission tab go from being grayed out to actually black and white. And now we can actually click on the commissions tab. So it's auto populated a lot of that information over. We need to fix anything that gives us notices. So in here, I'm going to go to edit general information. Commission rate is right. I got $15,000 in commissions coming. When was the contract date? That was the executed date of the contract. Close date is still correct. Let's save the changes. As you can see, our red notices have disappeared. Down in the payment area, as you can see, we have $15,000 in commission. I'm paying $900 in royalties. The company commission split with them is $4,500 out of that. As you can see, it's marked off as E&O for $25. We're still missing $35 for the other part of your E&O risk management. To enter that in, we just go to Edit Agent Payment. If we scroll down a little bit more, you will see and add an item. If we scroll down a little bit more, you'll see add an item. As you can see in here, there's bonuses, deductions, concessions, and referrals. Just drop down the menu, choose the item that you actually want to enter. So this one in this case is a deduction. We'll name it as E and O slash We'll name this one as ENO slash risk management, pay to KWSW, the address, here we are, it's asking for a phone number, not necessary for the email address, and we add it, Oop. it's $35. And we add it. If all is correct in here, we can save the changes. As you can see, now it's added a total of $60, which is your ENO and risk management. And if there's any other deductions, if you want to give away to Bold Scholarship, KW Cares, you can go ahead and edit that and submit it in here. If there's anything in here that you cannot figure out how to do it, you can always leave Jared a note. Save the changes. Here is your submit button. When you're satisfied that you've done everything you can do in here, just click on submit. This will go to Jared and he will look at your notes and compare it to his system. His system will not let you make a mistake. I'll see you soon in the office or on Zoom.